If a customer is not satisfied with their purchase, they may come back to your store to return or exchange it. In this video, we'll be looking over the different ways to process refunds in RepairDesk. This will cover full refunds, exchanges, partial refunds, and how to charge a restock fee. Let's begin with the full refund functionality. From the POS screen, click on the View Invoices button. From here, you can locate the invoice you'd like to refund from the list or use the search filters. Once you find the invoice, click on the Refund button. A new window will pop up, showing all the items for that invoice. Select the items you want to refund. Click on the Refund Details button to enter the number of items being refunded or the refund amount, the reason for the refund, and whether you want to add the item back into your inventory. Clicking on the Full Refund button automatically enters the full amount and closes the window. Once you've made your selection, click Proceed to add the refund to your cart. The refund should now show up on the POS with a negative value. You can then click Checkout to complete your refund. If you want to make an exchange, add the same or a different item to your cart. The system will adjust the amount based on the refund and the new item. Finally, click Checkout to complete the transaction. Next, we'll learn how to use partial refunds. First, select your invoice from the POS screen and click on the Refund Details button for the item you'd like to refund. Then, select the Amount tab and adjust the value in the Refund Amount field for a partial refund. Make sure the amount is lower than the original price of the item. When you're done, Click Save and proceed with the refund as described earlier. You can also charge a restocking fee for refunds. To set it up, click on Store Settings from the menu. In your store's general settings, go to the Refund Settings section at the bottom. Click Yes to enable the setting and enter your restocking fee as a flat rate or a percentage. Then click Save Changes. When you refund an item, RepairDisk automatically calculates and deducts the restocking fee from the refund amount. You can also change the restocking fee at runtime. The restocking fee applies to the item's base amount before tax is calculated. After this, you can complete the refund transaction. For more information, please visit our knowledge base. If you have any questions, contact our support team at support at Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.